Rell's Bonsai Tour is head-to-head uh, -to -head action four at a time, ski, snowboard, men, women, going over like uh, really unique natural terrain, as is, you know, natural conditions, nothing man-made, it's just raw skiing, it's pretty much, uh, you know, going back to the old days, how it was for guys racing down the hill and pushing the bottom wins. Uh, well, I was inspired to put this tour together when I saw this Red Bull event in Austria, it's called the White Rush. Red Bull came to Sugar Bowl and did it in 2004. Then 2009, I talked with uh, Sugar Bowl and we brought it back on board. Now we have a three event stop, the Rawls Bonsai Tour, and you know, it's the first annual, it's pretty cool. There is no other race like this. There's so much that can go wrong out there. Anybody can win it. Well, to kick off the Rawls Bonsai Tour, we went to Alpine Meadows. Uh, Marcus Kasten from Utah. He came out and showed that he had the skills and the uh, fight that day to go top to bottom with those hard conditions. We got a variety of skiers. We got park skiers. We got big mountain skiers. We got just everyday skiers. We got racers. You know, it's not a niche. There's not like one set of skis at work. There's not one type of like skill background that's going to put you on top. Well, it is more challenging than a World Cup, and it is scarier than a World Cup, especially when you're racing three other people down the mountain. We're all competing in the same conditions, so it's a fair race, and that's you know, the beauty of it. There's no unfair advantage for you know one competitor to the next. And one thing that's cool about you know, racing head to head, I mean, the race is against each other at that moment. One race at the same time, who can get to the bottom faster. The thing that made me the most nervous was not living up to my personal expectations of winning. You always have the ego thing and you always want to be number one. When I crossed the finish line at the Silver Belt, I lived way up to my expectations. It was just so awesome to get a win. So it came down to the super final, the last race of the Rouse Bonsai Tour. It was me up against Marcus Kasten, winner from Alpine, John Botchnik, winner from Kirkwood, and Greg Lindsay, winner from Sugar Bowl. I was uh, definitely nervous in the gate. I had three of our top guys, three guys that won our stops on the Rouse Bonsai Tour to go up against, and I felt the pressure. I'm not gonna lie, you know, I felt the pressure for sure. I gotta tell you, man, I'm gonna be honest with you, but I was nervous. I was feeling it, I was trying to just get in the zone at the top, and uh, you know, just thinking how much did I catch if Lindsay beat me? I would never hear the end of it, you know? Shrink bowl rains, you know, here at the bowl, or keep, uh, you know, the home turf. 